back to Cap or No Cap. I'm your host, Kevin C. Megan. Engineer Butler capping over here in the corner. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a, a, a very special guest, a, a living legend. Let's give it up for him. <laughs> Wrong side. Original pioneer of hip hop. No, we gotta keep it, gotta keep it going, gotta keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Wow! <laughs> Matter of fact, we need to get a street named after you. Let's do it. 2021. Absolutely. We got the original pioneer of hip hop culture. I mean, you would not have MCs if it wasn't for this man. This man was the father. What 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 Cool Herc is to hip hop, he is to the MCs. He's the father of all MCs. Because every MC inspired to be just like him. We gotta keep that going. Yeah. I'm the puppy. <laughs> we got no other than Grand Ma Grandmaster Melly Mel. All right, let's give it up. Yeah. One more time. Thanks for yeah. being with us. Thanks for being with us, Mel. Like, we we'll, we'll missed it. We we'll missed it. Um, let's talk about these pins we all three of us got on first. Well, first, let me say, it's from the Hip Hop Union, and I thank you because I am a citizen of hip hop, okay? Right. So I, I'm giving you a pin that says that you are a citizen of hip hop, but really it's more more from you to from from you to us right. to say that we've now become a group and a culture. So I thank you as part of our Hip Hop Union and our push forward. So I thank you yet again. One more time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, no, I got a question, and I love you, my brother, because you actually get me to thinking. Diddy said, Puffy said, uh, we should hold our vote uh, uh, on, on Joe Biden until he comes up with uh, uh, a black agenda. How do you feel about that? Well, it's one thing that Janine said that, that that's uh, really true. See, as far as where we at right now in our position in America and politics or whatever, we gotta start from the beginning. It ain't no like you, you, you can't, you know, like in, in the middle of the game now. Oh well, we need to do this when we haven't done nothing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we living off what, what we do. We living off of yeah. Uh, 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 we built this country. We didn't build it. Our ancestors built this country. You see what I'm saying? We we have yet to build anything. They put us in the hood, and we're still in the hood. And 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 I'm I'm thoroughly gonna you know people might might uh, disagree with me. There's no way that somebody could hold you down and oppress you for over 400 years if you didn't have something to do with it mm. in some form or fashion. Mm. So now everybody could explain the you know the, the symptoms. You could eloquently eloquently explain the symptoms. But the solution is some shit that either you doing or you ain't doing, as far as civil rights go. Uh, you know, King and Jesse and all of them, they did a, a great job on being a buffer between the white people and us. But we mm. we didn't do, we did a piss poor job of being a buffer from us. Mm. So, and I say all the time, in the hood, respect come from the bottom up, not the top down. Mm. So mm. instead of us trying to make an investment because in anything in life you have to make an investment you got to put something in to get something out right you see what i'm saying so we never made that investment what we doing is we wasting a lot of time on on bullshit. you know like they, they waste more time in prisons than in schools but then they come up with yeah well the, the uh the school the prison pipeline it's it's mm -hmm. it's, 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 un, it's not true it's the streets mm -hmm. That that's the problem, but we and we invest all our time. I think I agree to a degree. I agree to a degree when you start having juvenile behave like little things like a, a child walk around and maybe take a pin and pop a balloon and you give them a prison sentence for that, whereas you could have gotten um suspended expelled, not expelled, suspended, because you want to save that child, suspended, uh, detention. There, there were other punitive ways of handling that. And that's what the whole pipeline to prison 
from school to prison was. It was like very little infractions that were being expanded on. But before before we go there, can I go to Melly Melway and the Message Boulevard, right? Mm. Okay, that's where I want to go. The corner of Melly Mel Way and the Message Boulevard. Okay. When you first, because that was political, correct? Right. It was political back then. What was the politics in your mind at that point? What was, because you opened the conversation really to what was happening in the hood. Like, what are y'all going to do about this? That's what yeah. I got out of it. Well, well you know, what, the whole thing was we, we, we was all rapping a certain way about certain things. Mm -hmm. So it's partying, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we having a good time, you know, rap one-on-one uh, uh, is you, you rhyme about how good you can rhyme. Mm -hmm. So now my whole thing, and, and I'm still like this to this day, if I see a bunch of niggas doing something over here, mm -hmm. I'm going over there. Right. Because now it's less competition. You can get more. You can get more, lane, more, right. more traction. So, and that's when I started. You know, I did wrote the child is born rhyme, just that. You know, just to be different. You mm -hmm. know, because everybody's doing the same thing. Okay, I'm not going to stand out. But when I started doing that, I, you know, I and I made, you know, ways to, ways to stand out. And, 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 and even right even right now in hip hop, everybody is basically the same. It's the same type of. It's no. It's no stars. Is not is entertainment, but it's it's more it's more like just niggerachi shit. That's what I call it. It's just niggas <laughs> acting like niggas. They ain't, you know what I mean? They ain't, you yeah. know, yeah. They, yeah. they talk and, and, and their agenda is they talking a lot of hood shit. Right. So did you know that you were being political, or was it just like did you fall into it? No, we didn't. I didn't. I was just, you know, we was just rhyming and just trying to be, you know, just trying to be entertaining, mm -hmm. just trying mm -hmm. to. You know, just come up with different things and and and, uh, uh, and take it to another level as far as on the entertain on mm -hmm. entertainment wise mm -hmm. because uh, you know, uh, well back hip hop back then that was our normal. It would not it was nothing going on. Right. The buildings was mm -hmm. burning. It was you know the Bronx was it was crazy. Mm -hmm. So without hip hop, we we wouldn't have had a life. You know, I started out dancing and then we started MCing, but. We would, I would have been, I would have definitely been in jail if it wasn't for the music because I dedicated that. And I, that's going back mm. to what I was saying before. You have to make an, an, an investment, mm -hmm. which, which is what even that, you know, the average person, right? You know, we don't, we don't have an investment in that. Right. Like, like you said, oh yeah, we in the, you don't own nothing in the hood. Right. That's why when the, when the whiteys come through, they kick you out. But you, cause you didn't make an investment. Right. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't. We, we don't, we don't, they don't let us open up stores. You can open up any store you want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so the impact that you had, right? Mm -hmm. So, so now the impact of it, what, what did you say after you saw that this basically impacted the world? Right, but we will see, uh, uh, the, I think the most important thing and the most important impact that w what our, our hip hop had mm -hmm. to society is that we gave people that didn't have a voice we gave them a voice okay to where you could say something and they would take you serious you know what I mean because before that unless you was an athlete or you know if you just certain thing if you were just a normal person it's like you said shut up nigga mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. in, in hip-hop then they started taking you right. know the, uh, the inner city uh, uh, the inner city experience should I say more serious and they and they and they related to it like mm -hmm. they related to people all over the world related to what you know what it was like being in the Bronx and 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 that's why even to this day you know the Black Lives Matter movement is is multicultural because through the music they they can they have a better uh, insight on, on what it is to it, as far as the black experience and then and then they rally behind it where they see you know where there's a lot going on where we're not you know uh, uh, being treated right they rally behind, behind it, it right. so to speak you know it's crazy like no one knows how powerful culture is you know well I, Unless you Lord Jamal, because he, he he's, no, like, he's like he's like he's like he's like a the uh, the the cultural gatekeeper, but I know a Jewish kid that um, well I don't know him personally, my um, uh, a person that I know that it was one of his friends was in a coma for a number of years, I think about three years, and you know what kept him you know what got him out that coma, hip hop. Yeah. You see, I say all the time, if we understood the the war like a culture war, we could be winning. Right. right. Because you've got right. white supremacists, but they come across like they black. Like, mm -hmm. we're going to get some white power up in this motherfucker. Right. 
That's it's the, the same language. Way. Right. They, it's the they, same they, language. They, they, they use it our language. language. But, but, right. but see, and then, and then if you watch what's going on on TV, they use hip hop to sell everything under the sun Absolutely. to us and to everybody else. But then what we using it for? To go back into bullshit, you know, to, you know, or we, we just promoting a, uh, it, it's just a messed up stereotype. We still in man tan. Yeah, and, and look, you could love Cardi B, you could not like her, whatever. But the average person couldn't live with a Cardi B. You couldn't <laughs> live with a Lil Wayne. You, you just couldn't. You couldn't. You, you talk just about couldn't. The house yeah, drive yeah. You, yeah. Drive you crazy. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. But, but now it's accepted and, right. it's, and it's celebrated. So true. But so the true. reality is, if I'm living with Cardi B, I'm going to hurt her <laughs> because I'm not up for all that. Right. I ain't doing all right. that. So, you know what I mean? So early on, I remember I, I seen you with one of my mentors, Reverend Jesse Jackson, I think when he ran for president, right? You know, they enlisted you guys, you know, to, to do a song, the Run, Jesse, Run. My dad actually was like, I, I know what's going on and showed me that song. Um, so how did they engage you? Because now this is a Democratic Party back in 84, 88, right? Somewhere around there. How did you make that song at that point? Or, or how did they engage you? How were you engaged well, at that Actually, that, that song was, uh, was supposed to be for a movie that was made called DC Cat. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, yeah, that used to be my jam. Yeah, 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 that's my movie. And then, and then uh, they used it, you know, they, they used the song for Jesse, because it was, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, but but it was originally it was supposed to be uh, oh, wow. for that movie for DC. I remember that. So how, how do you feel? How how do you feel about that? You're because because that's it. That's a iconic place to be in. Now the 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 black man running for. Uh, office now we have a black man that was in office they give Reverend Jackson the credit of getting Obama in office do you share in that yeah because see that that, that that's what it was supposed to be about and I thought even after Obama that it would be a lot more younger African Americans that them. would be a part of the political system because see we we've opted out of everything I always say black people, they're just too black right now. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, know, and they mm -hmm, do mm -hmm. black shit right. that don't amount to nothing. Right. You know what I mean? Weave and weed. Right. And everybody <laughs> good now. Everybody weave good. and weed. You see what I'm saying? Right. But, we ain't, but we ain't moving forward because, just like you said, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, people come from uh, other places of the world. They come here and they get their grind on. Now, we've been here. But we lower than the Cambodians, mm -hmm, mm, and like mm, I said, and, and it can't it can't be only the white man's fault. There's something in 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 the fabric of what's going on in our communities where is a missing link to where as if, if you, you you know uh, I mean ain't nothing ain't nothing positive about the projects, but no. everybody want to be everyone want to claim you know, a project even, even right. it, it, just like I used to be hard on Jay Z and he had a rhyme. Uh, uh, most of all, I'd like to thank my connect. What connect, Jay? Right, right. What connect? Mm -hmm. You made it. Mm -hmm. Now, and when I leave the hood, I swear I'm gonna make a formal statement. I'm out, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to see near nigga around this motherfucking house. So you gonna see a real Karen around right, this motherfucker? Right, right, I'm not right. messing with y'all like that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. It, uh, uh, nobody knows that Q. Uh, 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 like a lot of people don't know that he graduated from college. I met his father. His father's a nice working man, a hard working Who's man. That? He probably Ice raised Cube. up in a house. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. He You're probably not. raised up in a house. Ice Cube graduated yes. college. His father's a hard working man. He probably he didn't grow up in the hood like that. He grew up in a house, but he don't tell you that because they want street cred. Right. Now see, I came before that. Like it was like, you know, uh you didn't have to have street cred. I was Melly Mel. From from 16, 17. right, and and then after that it was no gang, so it was no such thing as street cred. So I don't I don't I don't necessarily need it, but these dudes now they, they feel that they need it. So when they leave the hood, they still so you were rhyming you were rhyming actually to get out of the gang culture. Exactly, I don't want to have nothing to do. with Whereas that. now a lot of them are rhyming and they affiliate in the well, culture. I don't, right. don't want to have nothing to do with the hood like right, that. Right. I'm I'm from the hood. I know how to uh, maneuver in the hood. But I'm not. I'm not interested in smoking weed in the hallway with people. I'm not. You know. You ain't. You know. You ain't gonna right. know how I get high. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We don't got. We don't got more high than 
you know, <laughs> Jeff, well, things not, went up you know, too. He went I'm up. Saying, <laughs> right. We, but you, that wasn't none of your business. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? Certain things you keep it to yourself, and there's certain things, like I said, it, nothing in the hood the way they're doing is to be celebrated. There's nothing is no is nothing important about gang. Well, gang. if we're gonna if we're gonna ever really compete, we have to get rid of like a lot of these negative um, um, stereotypes that we, we embrace them instead mm -hmm. of getting no, rid no. of them. But look, and a lot of them negative niggas, but where you gonna put them? Because right. they, they complain when you say, okay, you're gonna go to jail. But they gonna go to jail anyway. Right. Right. If you don't work, if you don't vote, if, and if you don't learn, which they don't, we, we, we you know, it, 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 just like you said, when they when when other people come over here, they have they have an agenda. The, the you know the uh, uh, the Koreans or right. you know the the the, uh, the uh, doctors, the Indians, doctors, lawyers. You ask the I've talked to you all the time. You ask the average black person, well, what do you want your kid to be? And this is what you get more than anything. <laughs> A lot, <laughs> right? Stupid Can you imagine? <laughs> and this is where we are. Do we have an agenda uh, in hip hop? We we don't have an agenda in hip. We're not. See, but are you you working in Windows? So I mean, you you're, you're no, trying. No, we do our thing. In, in, you know, with, with Can you talk about Windows around. and hip hop when yeah, you get a chance? Well, Windows and hip hop. What it is is, uh, we we trying to uh, put a, a platform together where you can take hip hop and put it in a format to where you can teach kids how to learn on their own because my thing is this it, you, we, we gonna have some total responsibility if you don't think that you can learn in that school then you better teach yourself because i'm not i'm not i don't want to see you 20 years later and you was you just coming out of jail oh yeah i remember uh, you was at my school and right get the fuck away from me mm -hmm. right Cause they, I, I know what's coming next yo you got a couple of dollars no <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, like if, if people want change, you got to be the change that you want. Right. If you want justice, you got to be lawyers and judges. That's right. If you want proper education, <clears throat> you got to be teachers and principals. But you, it, it's, up, it's on you. It's not, you know, the, uh, uh, obviously, no, no matter how you look at it, white people are not helping us. It's just like, you know, Republican, Democrat. But my theory is the average... Uh, <clears throat> The we average, gotta help ourselves. The, yeah, and the average Democrat is really a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite. Right. I don't, you know, I don't care. You know, I'm a registered Democrat, but hey, I, I, I'll go the other way. I'll turn my back on you. Right. And, and and that's what happened. They turned their back on us. Here's my thing with the Democrats. Like, they take us, it's a two, it's a two-headed coin when you look at it. Like, we could, I can make the argument and say, okay, Republicans ain't messing with us. They don't like us. It's, they don't like black people. But That's, where are you getting wait, that no, 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 information no, 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 just, to put that I'm not, out there? I'm not even saying it's true. I'm just saying it because that's what's being said, right? We, but that's I'm, a false narrative. It, fine. It can be. I'm not going to okay. argue. That's not my argument. My argument is that's what's being said, right? And, 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 and they're racist towards uh, 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 black folk, right? But, I mean, I, seen, I, I don't know if you guys seen it, but... They have a commercial called Get Your Butt to the Polls. Get Booty. Your Butt to the Polls. Yeah. And they, there's a bunch of strippers, and, and, and shout out to um, Tariq Nasheed, because he said, you know, he, he kind of put it out there and said, these are white Democrats. This is their, this is their take on us. This is, their, this is what they think about us. So you're looking at a, a two-headed coin, right? basically. And so it doesn't make it any better, any better. Any better than the supposedly hate that your your party is coming up with? I, because I don't know. I I don't I don't spend but that where, much. Who is who is? This is the, the, where are you getting that the from? Majority, I, I the majority. The like majority. If you go on Twitter, if you go on Facebook, and you say, I'm not even saying vote for Trump. I'm saying, where's my quid pro quo? And I'm reduced to. Everything under the sun. Right, but that is part of the game that's being played around us. And the reason why we have to pull out our mode of thought, we can't listen to anybody. We have to know what it is that we need to do going forward and stick to that. It's not about anybody else's I agenda totally agree. because we're not getting that. I believe that the Republican Party doesn't necessarily subscribe to the black agenda. Right. Right? At, at all. You know, they right. don't care about us. Right. Because we don't have but a conversation. But, but <laughs> a president what? has been in office for four years, and we have not been to the table and said, well, "This is what we need. This is what we. This is how we need to move." Who cares who likes us in this country? Right. I'm a citizen, and this is what this is. Have y'all seen that video though? 
Yeah. It's a. Some people will say I don't see nothing wrong with it. I'd rather you slap me in my face. Well, it, it's very, yeah. it's very disrespectful. It would be a joke if it was. It's very serious. appalling. But see, but to see the whole thing is, it, 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 as far as far as politics go, if we don't have an agenda, you don't you get what you get what you want. You get that. So let me ask you, you who's you want? Diddy said we should hold our vote until we have an agenda. Who's Who's responsible for our job? See, that's people have to see. And then that's we where the nobody, black community break, down. breaks down. And right. So this is where I have a problem. Is it, is it Biden's? We have is it Biden? Is it Biden's responsibility? Well, to come I ain't up black. For our, According uh, to Biden, uh, uh, right. I'm not black. I guess I am. I'm not either. You but know, so it, my uh, bloodline got his, cut his, off right. by, no. by Joe Biden. According to some black <laughs> people, I ain't black. <laughs> they done cut me off a long time. Ago. But I mean, it's not. It's not Biden. It's not Trump. No, it's no one's responsibility to come up with our. Agenda but us. But right. we have we blockers even... in our own community that stop us from moving absolutely. forward. I absolutely, and at the, at I the totally end of the day, that. that is our problem because we have enough resources, we have enough people, we have enough love, we have enough talent to move forward. Except there's a body of people that are supposed to be leading our community that are blocking everything else and only showing one piece of our community. Uh, Newt Gingrich told Told, um, a friend of mine that the black community does not want anything that if we go in here and change it we are upending what they already they want to live like that so I that's not no, no, who we no, are but no. if he thinks that way but you know something it's, it's I mean it's, it might be hard it might be hard to swallow like I said, if you ask a person what they want their kid to be, they don't they don't come up with that. But that's because it hasn't been there's the opportunity has not been presented. Well, in some in some households, they say you're in this house, you got to go to college, and you'll go to that's college. That's right. My mother or father couldn't read or or, or or write. My mother knew how to write her name. My father he he did this with a fingerprint on his sign with an X. But they made sure we knew right. what we was doing. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the greatest writers as far as, as hip hop ever. Mm -hmm. right? But my I mother agree. and father couldn't read or write, but they wanted something mm -hmm. for us. That's right. Now, the ad, like I said, the average, you talk to me, well, it's all he got to do is graduate from high school and he can do whatever he wants. That's what we. That's the what opportunities we've have been taken and off you, the table. You know what I'm saying? But you, and I see, and even even with that opportunity thing. Well, I think uh, opportunity is one thing. What we really need to teach our children is entrepreneurship. That's what's gonna. Okay. That's what we're gonna. But, 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 but we only, don't have. A, we don't even have a base. You no, know, but the only entrepreneur that they talking about is selling drugs, and that's not necessarily. Not about, see, this is just this, this is where it goes with the uh, with the uh, opportunity lies. Mm -hmm. uh, opportunity is one thing, but opportunity is uh, 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 you starting from somewhere. And you having a plan for the future selling drugs is you just want money right now and then you get all this money all this money that came through selling drugs and nobody made an investment you know uh, uh you told me that uh uh uh, 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 uh nikki bonds brought co-op city so yeah. that's one guy yeah right but everybody else they never made an investment with all this money like they oh yeah we trying to eat y'all making it rain the, yeah the, 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 the the feds actually get a a, a handsome ransom off of river i'm saying this, this because he had he did have on. a vision he he, he co-op city was 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 the brainchild Look, of you, Nikki had, you ask the average young kid in the street in the hood in the street what do they want to be they say they, they they be messing with they out there messing with them drugs and the drug dealer that they want to be most like is Scarface. But we have to nationalize education because I agree. what's happening. So I grew up in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Got one of the best educations in the country, top ten in the country, right? So I'm thinking that everybody else got this education too. Right. Right? I hit Brooklyn. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Hello, somebody. Of, so, so again, now, yeah. if I would have stayed true to what they were trying to do, okay, we'll take a couple little black kids and, you know, polish them up and f push them down. I would have never seen what was happening in the hood if I wasn't curious. Is why are they trying to keep me from the black people? Why are they trying to keep me from my black people? I don't understand. So I went to see what was going on. Wait a minute. And so what I found is that the education system is totally different. I worked in the New York City schools, grew up in Cherry Hill schools. In New York City, you didn't even have lockers. 
You, so the kids don't have a place to put their books. The kids don't have a place to put their jacket. The kids don't have a place to go on what? So libraries out. Well, the educational system has to be overhauled. I mean, we, we, you have you have traditional and you have progressive, and and we're not living in a, a traditional world anymore. We're living in a very progressive. This one. is a non-negotiable, though. Right. And so this is the point. These are our kids. These are not their kids. This is the education that they well, the would first, have for us because the, the first you education can't I got with me. was in my house. Exactly. Now, see, that's the key. And yes, that was the first education I got. That's it's right. Your kid. You know, if I I made sure I did what I had to do in school, you want to know why? Because I had to answer to Miriam. And she wasn't, I, I'd rather do what I had to, because she would embarrass me at school. And I guarantee you, the PTA in, in, in inner city schools is non-existent. Absolutely. If they don't have the open school day, there's no, they, 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 they probably stop having it. And then, and then when, when you don't have that, that, uh, that reinforcement of education at home, like right now, they're they, 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 they going to stop uh, uh, teaching kids cursive. They stopped so, already. So how does a kid have to sign a binding document, a legal document? Now you could you could learn that at home. They they're gonna stop t telling time. They're but gonna stop teaching kids how to tell time. When you have three generations of possible dropouts, okay, what is it that they're going to teach? other than go to school, they're the ones that are supposed to have the information for you. I didn't get it, so hopefully you get it on your turn. So this becomes our problem. Exactly. Okay, because now our economics and our communities and are not moving progressively in the ways that right. we need them to move in. Right. And so we're we're saying, well, this violence and you, you, uh, a non-educational system promotes the violence that's going to happen in the community. So we've got to go back and get ahead of this and education have money. piece. We have plenty we of have money. money for bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, for sure, we don't have no Look, that we don't have no business doing. We got a lot of money for that. When you're talking about violence in the community. And if you could equate that with hip hop, hip hop is about to destroy black people in mm, a minute. Mm, mm. Now you keep give me more. Give me more. Keep listening to all that, to all that weird music, and <laughs> you know, they, 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 gang banging like, like, like you already know. When we started rapping, gang banging was on the way out. Everybody mm -hmm. that was affiliated with the gang, the but Cas got the girls. Casanovas, <laughs> right. the, 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 the Casanovas were in the Spades. Right. They turned into Zulus, and the Boston Road Crew right. was totally different. Right. Now, be, be, uh, since gangster rap, and then trap rap, and then mumble rap. They brainwashing themselves to be stone cold killers, and then and then with uh, uh, with the stop snitching. So now you got our little kids growing up, just like in in, in the in, in the sixties and in the seventies, they was uh, idolizing uh, uh, drug dealers. Now they are idolizing stone cold killers. You seventeen years old. What the hell you doing with a gun? Talking about I'm a murder so and so. Right. Do you think that we're wrong not to have you in position to lead? Hip hop now into the direction that it needs to go in. Well, you know what? My thing is real simple. I ain't got nothing to say to nobody, and I ain't, I ain't gonna talk to you. I'm, I'm, I rather, I rather show you than tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I got, I got, I got, gra I got great grandkids. Mm. I'm trying to live. I ain't, I ain't trying to be no tough guy. Right. You know what I mean? So you try to sit down with somebody and you try to, because see, the people, how people are, they believe what they want to believe. They ain't gonna believe nothing else. You could tell them that, that they, and, and you know, today's politics and all that is, is a perfect example. You could tell somebody the total truth, but they'll believe a lie because it's easy. It's easy. How, how do I look, baby? Yeah, you look good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I, you know, as, as far as hip-hop go, if, if, if I could uh, uh, not have the same platform, but a semi-even platform so that, so that you know, these look, so that these young kids could see a grown man because they would think that Melly Mel is an old, like he's an old dude. Right. But you're doing a lot of that through Windows. Yeah, of course, and, and, and on our own. But the, the main thing that they got to understand is like, so you can't be, you can't be afraid to embrace maturity. Right. You see what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. gonna be 60 years old. After right. a while, I'm gonna have to sit my, you know, I could party, I could party all night long. Right. But I'm 60 years old now. Mm -hmm. And you know, with, the, with, 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 with what's going on in hip hop now, it's like, at 40 to new 30, at 30 to new 20, and at 20 to new 10, then when is anybody gonna get a job? Right. right. You see right. what I'm saying? Because right. everybody's trying to embrace their youth and, you know what I mean, and, and, and trying to be young and trying to be with it. You know, I'm not, I'm not with it. I ain't never been with it like that. We, we talking music. 
You know what I mean? We, we wasn't talking, you know, what's going on in the streets and what's the coolest thing to do and, you know, the, the, the hottest shoes. I, I never bought a pair of Timberlands. I never did that. I only bought one pair uptown. I never bought, wore, like, the big uh, 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 extra large T-shirt like it looked like I'm, I'm uh, 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 carrying a gun or something. I'm trying to hide a gun. I'm medium. It's just going to fit tight as hell. You're going to be able to see my belly button. So so what are, what are you working on now, Mel? Oh, uh, we got a lot, a lot of things. We got, a, a, you know, an a album that we're doing. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm working on on a solo album, we got a solo nice. project with, with, with Needy. We we did we did a, a one of our iconic songs mm -hmm. over. Right, that, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, you know, I got some fitness stuff. I always got some fitness stuff going on. You know, yeah, we, Muscle Simmons, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know, we try and we you, <laughs> like like Simmons. see, cause, cause my whole thing is hip hop has to be put on a platform to where it's raised up. Is the hip hop is not about a young kid all the time. You know, they, right. they got their music and they got their thing, but we got our thing, too. It's just, you know, the powers that be, they don't believe that there's a dollar in it. The next biggest thing in hip-hop is not going to be younger. It's, it's going to be some somebody older. Right. Well, and we're moving into that political sphere where, again, hip-hop can recreate itself in politics because politics controls everything. Control you've got everything. education. You know, you've got the lifestyles. You've got everything that we're living. The, a man told me, he said, your life, Jania, depends on how your community votes. Mm. And that's what changed everything for me. That's when I started running for Congress. That's when I started saying, hey, 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 we got to go over here because it makes sense. Because we're not voting is is the reason why child support is uh, through the votes. Because we're not voting is the reason why we're not, our, our community is not getting the programs and the nonprofits are not getting funded. The, the city council and the elected officials have money to give to programs, but we're not involved in it. So the people that are voting are the ones that are getting that money that's the trickle down so once we get in this and say hey we've got um we've got some stake in this and we are coming to the polls to vote and not just democrat because when we vote just democrat what happens is is that we the, t the scale doesn't move we already know you're going to vote democrat so we're not going to spend any money but the day that we say we don't know we don't have to say if we're republican or democrat all we have to say is we don't know so now what it does it gives both of these parties an opportunity to court us but you can't you can't play a game with one person playing right. i can't um, well, I'm gonna beat you at this game, but it's only it's only best out of three, but it's only two. It doesn't make any sense. So we've got to be in it to where we don't know, right? Because we don't know. We've got to start from stop whoring out our stop whoring out our votes. Absolutely. And learn how to pimp it. That's what we got to stop doing. Absolutely. And that's what we've been doing. We've been whoring out our votes for over 60 years instead of pimping. And, 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 and even worse than that, most most. Uh, black people don't. They don't. A lot of them don't even vote. That's we don't that's understand the, don't, the right. process. That's what it is. And we've it's, got it's, to it's, begin it's, to it's, understand the process. It's not that hard to understand. Why? You've got two people, pick one. But what? Based on well, what? Based on give it. Well, give no, give no, it no, the analogy no, you gave me. As far as far <laughs> as, but as, as far as right now, like you said, we got to start from from the ver from the beginning. So you just gotta. Uh, uh, it's just is the process. It's the political process. Mm -hmm. You have to pick one. Right. And we have right to know. Right now, it's based on nothing because we don't have the agenda. But you still right. gotta, you still gotta be a part of the process. And uh, and get, can you give Ice Cube an applause, please? Can we applaud Ice Cube for coming up with the black agenda, the the well, agenda for Black America? America. Well, we yeah, had let's uh, let's give one to Tr too because he's actually he's actually going after. Um, and this is what we're gonna have to uh, remember is like you have hip hop. Now going on a world, using using the culture on a world platform because he's going after um, Lloyd's of London for a statement that they stuck their foot in their mouths for. They they publicly apologize for in, insuring slaves in America, and he says, "Wait a minute, Be, thank you for the apology, but let's give us give us something tangible because we're not going to get it from this government." 
First of all, we, we could get whatever. We, I am a citizen getting, of the United States, and the laws in the United States, if we use them the right way, we can use them to work for ourselves. Now, the, if we play the game that they're digging holes for us to fall in, right? So they're digging holes, we see the hole, and we go run in the hole and say, I don't know how I fell in this how hole. Do you, how do you feel about what he, what he did? I mean, I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was brilliant for him to go after them and call them out. You're going to apologize. Something comes with an well, apology. Let me, let me go back a little further. And Mel, I have a question for you in this process. So here's my problem with everybody jumping in. It's part of, part of hip hop being in politics right now is me because I've been, ah, this is where we need to go. Fire, fire, fire. This is where we need to go. You know, sound right. the alarm. Right. This is where the money is at. Shout, right? out, shout out to you. <laughs> okay. But, now that hip hop is jumping on board and didn't get the education, didn't go to training school, and now just now saying, I'm with this person because of this. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not throw ourselves back 10 years just because now we're here. Just because you have the influence of millions doesn't mean you know everything. So what I need to ask you is, why do y'all think as a hip hop artist, not you because you stay in your lane, but what, what was the mentality that I know everything because I'm a good hip hop writer. Yeah, you see, but see, that, that's the whole thing. Uh, 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 in hip hop, everybody want to be the front man mm -hmm. instead of sitting down. And just like with, with Kanye, I mean, he, he, he wants to be a front man, but uh, he don't got the thick enough skin to take the pressure of being a front man. So right, he's right. going through all this and he's falling apart. <laughs> Crying. You see what I'm saying? When, when, when all he have to do it's it's sit down. Right. Everybody sit down with somebody. You, you know, like it, it would not. There would be nothing for hip hop to have a meeting and and three or four key guys. You know, uh, uh, Puffy and Cube and, and Ti and whoever. Y'all sit down. It's all going to come down to the same thing. That everybody know what we need. But let me just say, but somebody got to sit down. I think what we miss, the me in hip hop, right? Is not. I'm not. I can't put two words together to rhyme anything. But what hip hop taught me is the spirit of entrepreneurship, the spirit of being myself, the spirit of style and finding a direction and finding an outlet and finding a way. And it created intellectuals no. who studied these things. And we now need to partner exactly. those powers together. Because, mo again, you can't be a social worker and a rapper at the same time. Exactly. Because I, I went to school and I did a lot of stuff to figure this stuff out. Right. So now that you can lead, you know, you put Cardi B in the front and say, this is where we need to go. Hold up, girlfriend. Hold I love you. Right. But I need you to be responsible enough to say, that's not my lane. Let me go get somebody that's in my lane. Which, oh. which, is, what, which, is, which is what we did when we got on the phone. We got to wrap this up. Now, I promised uh, this author... He, he, one of his uh, favorite MCs, that I was going to give you his book and present it to you. So here it is. Name of the book is Havoc and Mayhem. It's an mm. outstanding read. Um, his name is Derek Bonner. Uh, we'll probably bring him on the show somewhere down the line. But um, enjoy that novel, my brother. And, you know, um, I'm looking for, forward to bigger and oh, better yeah. things with you, man. Oh, yeah. And thank you for your selfless uh, contribution. Yeah, and we, we, and we we still doing it, you know. Yeah, no doubt. Y'all you know, you know, never, y'all never gave up. People out there that stayed behind it and supported it, and because we still got to go to the home stretch. Let's yes. give it up. Let's yes. give it up. Yes. 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 Thank you.